Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for checking out my video. Today we are going to learn how to animate a Pokeball to make a uh, Pokeball effect in PowerPoint. So I hope you guys can um, subscribe, like, comment, and share this video if you find it useful. Also, I would like to take this time to thank all of um, the supporters and uh, the viewers who have contributed to this channel as well. So let's take a look at how we can animate a Pokeball um, in PowerPoint. Um, don't feel discouraged. Um, there might uh, seem to be a lot of um, things going on, but I can assure you it's quite simple once you get used to this. So let's test it out by hitting the play button here. So here we have our uh, Pokeball. Um, and if you click on one of the Pokeball, uh, you'll see the animation. Let's try another one. So you kind of, uh, you kind of got the idea, um, get the idea of how this works. Um, there are a few uh, steps uh, you must uh, need to know for doing this. Um, however, I'm going to show you guys how to do it uh, nice and simple. So let's start by creating a new file here. And we don't need this, so you can delete this. And right click, go to um, Format Background. And you can uh, use any background you want. Um, you can use color if you want, but I'm going to use this. I'm going to insert um, a picture for the background. And we'll just scroll and find one here. So I have some assets here, and I'll use this background. Now we want to add in the Pokeball. So I'll go to uh, my images. You need two versions of the Pokeball. You need a close. Pokeball and an open Pokeball, and we're going to animate both of them together. So here are our um, here are the Pokeballs. I'm just going to um, align them or shrink them a little bit because they're a little too big. So I think this is good. And you can also align them, but um, we'll just separate them for now, and we'll do that later. So first, we need to open our selection pane so we can label and give them a give them a name. I'll call this one um, "Close Pokeball," and this one I'll call "Open Pokeball." So we'll keep track of it this way. Um, we also need. Um, a glow effect, a glow effect, and um, also a Pokemon. Later, uh, we'll do that together. So this Pokeball is behind um, the closed Pokeball, so I just move it up. Now it's in front. Just move it up, and now it's in front. So you want the close, um, you want the open Pokeball in the front. Now I'll grab a glow effect and just insert that in. And we'll just move it anywhere on the screen. But first, we'll give it a name. We'll just give it a simple name called Glow. And we'll just move that off to the side. Next, I want to grab a Pokemon. So we'll do the same thing. Find a picture of the Pokemon. And uh, we'll just move it off to the side somewhere. And we'll give it a name as well. So that's all we need, um, just these four images to make our um, Pokeball, uh, uh, Pokeball effect. First, we want to start um, with the um, closed Pokeball. 
So we want to uh, do a fade effect for it. We'll open our um, animation pane so we can see what's going on. Uh, but before the fade effect, um, we want to make the ball shake a little bit when you click on it. So I put the teeter effect. So we'll click on that once we uh, add that. And on click, um, five seconds is fine. And uh, maybe we'll change this to repeat seven times. It's really up to you, but um, I chose seven. And then we want it to trigger um, on close pokeball so that's why we label everything so we can keep, keep track of it so let's test it out when you click on it it uh, teeters a little bit now from here um, we want to put everything underneath this um, uh, trigger so we'll be using uh, the previous um, uh, trigger a lot as well. I'm sorry, not trigger, um, timing as well. So now we're going to make it fade. We'll choose fade. And we'll drag that underneath um, here. With previous, five seconds is okay. And we'll uh, change that to two seconds. Now let's make the closed Pokeball up here. We'll choose Fade again. And we'll drag that under um, this one right here. With previous, five seconds is okay. And then we'll put two seconds. Next, um, we want to make the um, glow appear, so we'll go to uh, Fade, and we'll drag that under here, and with Previous, 5 seconds is okay, and we'll make it um, delay 2 seconds. Now we're going to give it a spinning effect. So we'll choose spin here. And again, um, we'll drag that under here uh, with previous. That's OK. And we'll put it to uh, two seconds. And now we will uh, make it fade. Choose the exit animation fade. And just drag that down. Just like that. Previous. Um, that's okay. And then we'll put um, th the delay in. Now we'll make uh, the open Pokeball disappear by choosing Exit Fade. And the same thing, drag it down with Previous. And then um, we'll have to change the delay time. That's good, I think. And now we're going to make our Pokemon appear. So we'll choose our um, zoom, basic zoom, and we'll drag that down with previous, of course. And uh, that's okay. And delay, we want to put it to three seconds. And let's give it a little extra animation. And we'll go to teeter here. And again, we want to drag that down. 
and start. Uh, we'll put it with previous. That's okay. And this is important. We want to repeat um, until end of slide. Just choose that. And now we can test out our Pokeball effect. So we'll just drag that um, under uh, the open Pokeball. And we'll put the glow effect there. But uh, before that, um, we can try to um, align the Pokeball so it um, align correctly. Uh, highlight both Pokeball. Go to Picture Format. And you want to choose Align. Align center and align middle. Make sure they align properly. Seems okay. So now let's try it out again. Oops. Put the glow on the um, in front of the open Pokeball, and then we'll put the Pokemon in front of the glow. And once we've uh, gotten that, we'll we highlight everything and just center it. And now we can test it out by hitting the play button to see what it looks like. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Uh, but you can also um, do more to your Pokeball. Um, you can make it, um, you can put sound effects um, with your Pokeball as well. Um, you can do a lot of things um, with this Pokeball effect. Um, I'll just show you. It's very easy to put in a sound effect. Um, I have two sound. One is uh, a Pokeball op opening sound, and another one is a Pokemon found uh, sound effect. So we'll add these two in um, into our animation. I hope you guys are finding my video useful, and if you do, please don't forget to um, subscribe so that you can get the latest materials when I post them up on this channel. So let's see how we can add um, sound effects to our um, Pokeball. So you can get sound effects. Um, fairly easy um, just by doing a little research on the internet. Um, there are tons and tons of sound effects um, that you can use for free as well. So um, here we're just going to um, use two sound effects, one for um, the opening of the Pokeball and the other one is when you find a Pokemon. So we want to go to audio and you want to find the file that you downloaded. So we'll use this one. And we'll um, call this open sound for um, the beginning of our animation for Pokeball. We'll just drag that underneath um, here and click with previous. And we'll put the delay for two seconds. So we want the Pokeball to shake a little bit, and then the sound effects play after that. And we'll put another sound effect here. So we want the found a Pokemon sound effect. Insert that. And we'll just move this off to the side here. And now we'll give it a name. Found a Pokemon. And we'll just drag that. Um, to, to the very bottom. And with previous, and we want to delay um, three, three seconds. And let's test it out. All right, that sounds pretty good to me.
So I hope you guys enjoy this um, simple uh, Pokeball effect tutorial. And if you do find um, this video, video useful, um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. It would really help out this channel a lot. Um, also, thank you for your um, support and kind comment comments. Um, they really um, help this channel grow as well. And if you guys would like to see uh, more um, videos and tutorials like this, uh, don't forget to leave a comment uh, below this video on what you would like to see or like for me to do. Um, also, you can grab the new um, Pokemon uh, speaking game uh, template um, in the link below this video. Um, I really enjoy uh, making it and um, I'll probably put out another video on um, making other um, effects um, for the Pokemon game. Um, So if you guys have any questions, just write them down in the comment section below and I'll, uh, I'll definitely uh, take a look at that. Again, thank you for watching my video and I wish you the best of luck in your classes.